a little bit of a rainy day outside, which is why it's like a good day for some Netflix watching. They have the show about interior design and only ran criminally one season called Stay Here, about people who turn Airbnbs into better Airbnbs, like putting a yellow door out front to be able to find a place when every other building looks the same. So, so good. And I know what you're saying. You're saying to yourself, Jaeger, this is not why I clicked this video. But that's the first tip right there. As part of five wedding website tips learned from my five mistakes, the first one was not giving people any idea of where to go on your website. Stay with me though, about this time last year, I got a call on the phone from old Yelp, just trying to market to me, and they were going through my website. He started at the top and was like, okay, this looks like a wedding site. Then I see some portrait stuff, and I see some, some, some shirt stuff. Let me do the him on the phone. You can get some charity stuff, it's, it's some random stuff, PDF, download stuff. Basically, the website was such a hot mess on a landing page, people would not know where to go. Not such a great idea for your wedding website. Number two piece of advice, please insert some personality into your website. I was so bad when I first started out making my website, I hopped into the website, time machine thingamajig online. I didn't even have my name on the front page. You didn't even know who this person was. I was out of my Honda Carolina's Photography LLC name in my new update. I've got my name there, he knows me, and I make some references to, of course, to Jager Shots drink and, and why not, it's, it's my name. That's just me though, that's things I've done to inject some personality into the page. And let people know, yeah, you're dealing with a Jaeger here. The third tip, the blog is still alive and well, especially in wedding photography. Using SEO and making walls about places you've been, like for example, I shot a Charleston wedding at the aquarium. All are great keywords that people are actually searching for online, not just Chris and John's wedding. That doesn't quite pop in the search. Chris and John are great people, but we gotta really narrow it down for strangers. So this is where SEO comes in. And SEO is something that I'm just now kind of trying to get my head wrapped around. I've got a link in the description, some people who are way, way better about SEO, and they're exactly the people that I'm listening to to improve my SEOs. SEOs. Is that it? Is, 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 well, I guess it's more than one post, so yeah. It's also a great way to be able to get into other towns by building a whole set of keywords and lists and blog posts that are gonna help people in those other towns and in other venues. And also, do not keyword stuff anymore. Make real sentences. It's okay to talk normal. You don't have to talk like a robot, like when I was on the phone earlier with my phone call reference. Uno, dos, tres, cuadro. Number four, do styled shoes. That's how I got this shot right here of Mackie Peck laying on the beach in a black wedding dress. A little behind the scenes for you. Totally made that shot up just to have something stylish to put on the front page of photo17.com, my wedding website. Reason being with style shoots, there's no pressure, really. There's not a paying client who's expecting photos to go on the wall for grandma. You can really go all in on your creativity and do these shots exactly like you want. You have more time to do them. You're not entertaining an entire wedding party or have a wedding party wedding. You can style it however you want. Go ahead and throw some of those in there to boost up your photography website. And it's also great if you don't have a lot of couples, add some more photos in there. There's totally nothing wrong with that. I would be careful of not turning your website into nothing but model type figures. Have some regular people thrown in there. <laughs> Number five is look like a wedding specialist, mainly wedding photography, if not only wedding photography. Portraits are tied in so close to what I do now. I got it kind of hidden up off at the side at the top of the website. It can be gotten to, but it's also got another URL. It just so happens to be all built in the same page. Whatever. You know good and well it's a wedding photography website and on the front page of mine. I've seen people throwing cars and shoes and everything. I have another website for that. Following photos, that is a big one. Most brides are not looking for the beach photography photos. Unless it's a bride in a black dress. There's exceptions to every single one of these rules, but know that I felt miserably having modeling, skimpily clad photos on the wedding website. Some people won't mind that at all. Some will not, big time. So know that your website's always gonna be a constantly moving target that you're trying to hit. And what you put on there today, you can go back and change in about two minutes time. Sites like YouTube, and good grief, you see what happened with TikTok. They could be gone tomorrow, you don't know. So you gotta have somewhere else online for people to come and contact you. So that's why building your email list is also important to be able to stay in touch 
with everybody, just in case one of these big social media platforms ever goes away for ah, just not that over. For whatever reason. Speaking of websites, head on over to shop.jagershots.com. Get yourself one of our photography, videography inspired tees. New ones are being added this summer. We're so behind because of the global situation. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you did not like this video, please hit the dislike button because I hear it counts as engagement as well. Love you all. Hit that subscribe button to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com. Oh, it's a shirt. Jager Shots. It's a shirt, y'all. It's not a bad setup. It's thing in, in videography where you have like a terrible space, you try to cut lights off. I, I've gone the opposite way. I broke that rule. I didn't really hide anything. There's more about angles in this little space. Now, if I move this camera anyway, which way you're just gonna gasp. This is like a, it's like we're shooting inside of a dumpster right now. <laughs>